Hey, welcome back to Carm 3D on the Tube. I was reviewing my Screamer Net videos and I realized I failed to mention something that's probably fairly significant when you're doing Screamer Net stuff, networking, etc. Uh, this is going to probably tie my Screamer Net videos as the least exciting videos I have, but it's kind of necessary, so if you're going to be dealing with networking, you might as well plow through it. If if not, uh, I suggest you move on to another video. Rotate Skeletons is a good choice. Okay, so anyway, as some of you may or may not know, Windows is an operating system that is actually a graphic interface that piggybacks on top of MS-DOS. Even to this day, MS-DOS, the operating system that was written back in the late 70s, is still there. And uh, Windows has hopped on top of that to give us a more pleasant interface. So when we are moving files around inside of Windows Explorer, we are actually triggering commands that are being pushed off into the MS-DOS command prompt that is running underneath it. It's just all transparent to us. So when, when you copy a file, it's spitting out the text, copy, yada yada yada. And uh, why is this important? Well, it's because of this. For some silly reason, which baffles me to this day, Windows stores all of its programs in a directory called Program Files. Okay, so it looks like that, except when you are uh, modifying your config files or changing around your shortcuts for your icons, if you go into a, a, a Windows command prompt and type that in here, it'll say something like this. Okay, the reason why it's doing that is because commands have phrases that are separated by spaces. So when a, a file name or a folder name has a space in it, you need to tell it that it's all one self-contained location by quotes. Now this will work. Actually, I, th I think the actual file name is like that, but that's beside the point. So, when you when you create your network drives, you will have it looking something like this. Okay. Once you do that, you have eliminated the need for the quotes because there's no space in here. There's a space after that for various things, but that's because it's delineating the actual the file name location from switches and, and operators that, that change how it is run. So the whole key to this is when you are modifying your config files you want to uh, remove the quotes because they're not necessary and all they do is just make things more complicated and harder to read and oh except for one exception let me pull that up except for this one this is the one with the double backslash thing going on and then the file locations you may recall when you were editing your config files I think these have to have the quotes there so uh, play it safe and keep the quotes there it's okay if you have quotes there even if you have no spaces you can still add them but you don't need them when you have a file name like this so you can uh, make things easier to read and easier to type and just simplify your life uh, because uh, when you are dealing with this network rendering stuff you are working closer to that underlying layer of MS-DOS as opposed to dragging and dropping files around like you used to do and 
along these lines, I just wanted to tell you to get in the habit of never adding spaces to your file names because it's going to make things complicated for you when you have to do networking stuff. So if you need to have a space or you desire a space, you would say something like that with an and this is called an underscore shift minus key. Or some people just like to do it like this. They will capitalize the first letter of every word avoiding the space, but it still delineates the two words. So that's it. Um, basically I just wanted to go over the issue with quotes and to urge you to get in the habit of no longer having spaces in your file names. That is it for this video and I'll see you next time. <music>